Brother to Caesar, the bitch Caesar. Ah, ah. Yo, I be buying these, so all my girls be eyeing C's Coming backstage, dying to get pleased You got me, I rock the Versace and linen Why you spot and grinning with a bunch of foxy women? Why you speedball with cars, that's the valley I get clothes custom made for my stylist Cruise in my Lexus land with no malice Why you walk the street until your feet get callous Take you on the natural high like a pallet It be all good, toss your clothes like a salad When it's all over, put your vote in my Ballad. This my diner, I'm Mel and your Alice Spend the night and look to see palace It be all good as long as you don't act childish While you standing there with the crisp in your cup And worse come to worse, keep this on the hush uh. I know you see me on the video I know you heard me on the radio I know you see me on the radio But you still don't know It's a girl, I'm back again So welcome to Quarantine Vlogs number one That's five for you too, because I put two fingers Ignore that um, I'm going to be telling you guys about the journey I took to getting my room where it's at now. As you guys can see, the color behind me is was the previous color of my bedroom. And I decided on a whim, I wanted to paint three walls of my room white. So the wall that faces behind my bed, the wall against my window, and this wall, no, that wall that the mirror is on, as well as the third wall. So it's two side walls, and then the wall that I'm facing, that's facing me is my bed wall. So with that said, my original goal was to paint this wall behind me white as well. But because my TV's on the stand and I was, I did not know how to take it down, neither did my mom. It was a little difficult. Even watching YouTube videos, we decided to just leave the blue as an accent wall. The second transformation of my room was my dresser. As I don't think I had pictures of it before, but my dresser was originally a cherry wood color. Oh, it was cherry wood. It wasn't a color. It was cherry wood, and it had, like, a chestnut stain on it. And I decided to strip my dresser and repaint it white and on top do a distressed marble design. So it started off as marble, and I kind of liked it for a while, but then I went more toward the distressed look. Um, the biggest thing I did was change my bed. But I'm right now, I'm just going to insert the clip, a small clip that we have of when we started painting and... A picture of what the room looked like beforehand. So let me show you guys that now. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Seeing the colors, you've seen the three biggest transformations I need for my room. My main goal first was change the color, get a new bed, and get some type of storage. As you can see in the last clip, well, the picture is not very clip. Under my futon chair, I had laundry bags of clean clothes. The issue with that is my drawers cannot hold a lot at all. And my closet wasn't the most organized thing. So, with that said, it was more or less like I would just wash clothes and store it in the laundry bags under there. Which is more or less like athletic wear and leisure wear. And all my heavy clothes, like my sweats and stuff, would be in my drawers. So, the first goal I did after painting was I ordered a new bed. I end up getting a um a poster bed from Wayfair and I believe it was around 169. Um I did aim for getting a bed which I did not need a box spring for, which when I got it it was too low and I end up having to order a box spring from Amazon, which I would highly recommend. It takes a little bit of setup, but it's very durable, especially for someone like me that has a dog that likes to jump up on the bed. It's perfect. It's very sturdy. The second thing for storage was I was looking into Ikea first into getting a cabinet, a single cabinet unit, which I, if I'm not wrong, I believe it ranged around, I want to say 90 something dollars. And my mom brought up a valid point. A cabinet unit may not look so pretty, especially because I had, in the other picture you can see, that, that had the mirror I was using as a, like a full vanity. That was two shoe racks I have bought from Home Depot years ago that have always been my closet. And I stacked them. I stacked them on top of each other and I just used a little bit of like wood glue to keep them a little bit sturdy. And I had a, um, an old dresser mirror I put up top and I used that as my vanity more or less to do my hair and stuff. Um, I had to get rid of it. It wasn't sturdy. I have broke, I broke the top table. 
don't really remember how, but I think I had too much stuff piled on top of it. And it was, um, it's not real wood, it's pressed wood. So it was not as sturdy. It was like very thin pressed wood. So I said, I'm going to Ikea. My mom brought up a point. Let's buy a cube unit. And looking in the Ikea reviews, it was okay. People said it was there for what it, it did its job. It wasn't that it wasn't weak, but it also wasn't sturdy. Like you wouldn't want to sit on it. Well, obviously you probably wouldn't sit on any of them, but it wasn't strong enough. So I decided to switch and we found this cube unit in I, I'm sorry, Target. And I'll post pictures a little bit later. This cube unit, I really love it a lot. It, I have bins in it right now. I'll just pull out one. I'm actually filming on it. This is one of my bins. Just it has like labels and stuff to put in. And yes, one side is shorter because I tied the side that full because only one side is visible. And within these bins, I keep a surplus of different things. And my first bin is predominantly hair stuff. Um. The second bag just says like personals, like makeup and stuff like that. I do keep hair ties, like my blow dries and stuff in here, just cause my hair bin's full of hair products. The one of the other drawers I use, I have a bin. I say drawers, it's bins, like Q bins. The third one on top, I use for bedding supplies, as in, I switch my bedding very often, and the linen closet is full. Do they with comforters? So I switch from buying comforters over and started buying duvets. So the trick in that is to also help maximize storage because I own three comforters now and I switch out my duvets. I actually like to wash my comforters every month because in the duvet, it's not really touching your skin, but because of the fact that I get bad allergies, um, I use like things hypoallergenic. So because duvets don't really come hypoallergenic, they still hold on to like pollen and dog hair that flies around the room. So I wash everything at least once a month, if not sometimes more or less. It's more or less one month, once a month, sometimes twice, depending on how bad my allergies are. But I started this bin and I keep multiple duvets, um, blankets, covers, just stuff that's personally from my bed that no one else is going to use. So it's easily accessible. The bin under that now I keep all of my tech supplies as in shouldn't say my DJ equipment is also in there, so I keep my spare microphones, extra cords, my JBL speakers, because I actually own three of them, and I lose the cords quite often. I don't know how, because my room's only so big, but I end up losing them, so once I'm done charging, everything goes back me along with their cases. Um, The second middle, the middle cube, I keep all school supplies and notebooks and like client receipts and things like that. More like stationary items stick in there. And my very last drawer, under my hair drawer, in this, I put down, we just keep all craft stuff. And I say craft only, but right now I actually have a beautiful plant, which I don't want to pull down right now. And I keep all the plant food that I have bought and stuff in long in that bin. So it's out of sight, but still easily accessible. Along with storage now. So we kind of got through what I got for storage. The second thing I needed to revamp in my room was my desk area, which I don't think I can kind of pull around too much right now, but you guys can try and see. It's not completely done. I'm actually waiting for a shelving unit for that. But as you guys can see, these collage poles I actually made myself, and I bought this monkey. I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking the camera's a little off. I bought him from Amazon, and he was roughly about 100 and change. And then this poster, oh, that way, go that way, oh, that turn. This poster right here, my mom actually painted, and I really love this, so I use it as a piece of my room. And I also have one more collage. But for the desk, for the desk chair, as you guys can see, I'm just trying to pull it. This is my desk chair. It's a fur, it's just a fur throw over it. It's just an IKEA chair. I actually in the pro, I ordered a new desk chair. So while this is coming, this is just temporary. This is actually from my ottoman, which I ordered, which was another solution to storage. Or that from Wayfair, that was about a hundred and don't quote me, I think about forty five dollars, one forty five. And it's silver and with crystal feet. So as you guys see, I'm building up on as much storage. The next thing that's coming is from my closet, and I'm ordered a closet system. So going into a little bit of depth excuse me, going into a little bit of depth of where I a depth of what I did in my bedroom. 
my desk was a big transformation because me being who I am, when I decided to strip and repaint my dresser, I did not pull out my desk. So I had got a lot of, I also did the, the poor method of doing my top. So I had a lot of excess paint end up on my desk and I thought I could just scrape it off after and the paint actually set, it set and dried on the desk and ruined the desk essentially. So that corner being so narrow, I did not, it was harder to find a desk for there that looked simplistic, neat, and not be too crazy in price. So I had previously bought this desk from Ikea, like maybe two, three years ago now, for about roughly $75. Don't give, mm, don't quote me, give or take, and maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. And I had bought the chair for $45 from them. But the desk was getting so beat up, and like I said, it's such a narrow corner. It's I don't want my desk to be too big. I'm not really sitting on there too often. So I decided to turn to contact paper. And I used contact paper. I used, sorry, I can't remember the exact brand. I'll insert the link. I'll insert the name of it after. But it's just newspaper contact paper. Um, this was, I paid a little bit more because this is woven fabric, which is a little bit, it's still contact paper. It's just a little bit higher quality than your normal Michael's contact paper. Due to the fact that it's like micro pieces of cloth that are weaved in together to give you more durability. It's waterproof, so if I spill water, I can wipe it up. It's also like to have something that's more breathable since my laptop and desktop are usually on it. And yes, my desktop is actually in my closet right now. Because it's just it's just very clunky for right there right now. I have a Mac, but 2000. 15 Mac MacBook desktop. I forgot the name. iMacs. There you go. So it's in my closet at the moment. But with the revamp of my desk, I was very pleased with it. It suited me that I didn't have to buy new furniture. As in, for that whole area behind me, as you guys can see, my desk and my dresser, I didn't want to have to buy new furniture. It was more expensive. It wasn't necessary. Another thing I did for the dresser, if you guys seen another clip, though, no, sorry, this dresser did not have these crystal knobs in it. These knobs I ended up purchasing from Home Depot. Um, I think I need like 16. I have eight drawers. So it was about 16 knobs I used. I could be wrong, I think. I think it's about 16. But my total price in my knobs were about $165. I think it was like 165. I'm sorry, I'm bad at prices. I don't really remember how much I paid for this stuff. It's about 165 for the crystal knobs. And that was also another transformation because it was upgraded from just wooden knobs to glass. As well as on my closet doors, I have crystal knobs on them as well. I'm um, sorry, glass knobs. And that's blown glass. And those are really cool because they have like bubbles inside of them. It's a little kiddish, but I actually like it. Um, The second, the biggest transformation which you guys can see is this shelf behind me. I have always had this shelf. And actually, that green tin, you see, is a ring holder. I don't even wear my rings anymore. It was just something I put up there, so I didn't dump it. But that was put in professionally like a year or two ago. And I never really used it. My Xbox had always previously been on my dresser and my cable box. And I decided to put the brackets completely in so I can have my Xbox and cable box lifted off the dresser therefore giving the dresser a clean empty look don't really want too much stuff on the dresser i kind of like my dresser to be empty up top just clean behind it it is bracketed my leadership award from one of my dj battles i had previously gotten as long as on the other side that is my competition certificate um i think that's like one of the biggest changes of my room the second thing is this mirror um, this came from Amazon and it was 216, I think. I believe so. It was under it was over 210, but it was less than 220. So I believe it was like 216. This is an upholstered full body mirror, which I can tell you I really love this mirror. It came within two days of me ordering it, just because it was close to my city. But today with me ordering it, and it's really pretty. It's a clear mirror. It's a floor mirror. It can actually go up on the wall, but I actually like 
But I like this when a mirror is tilted on the floor. It helps elongate the body when taking pictures. I'm quite short myself, so it helps to stretch me out a little bit. I think the second to last thing I can say about this room right now is the carpet. My carpet, we have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Put it like that. I love this carpet, but having pets, you know, and little kids in your house, there's always spills. Pets have accidents. Pets eat treats on floors. Like, they leave, like, it's disgusting to say, but, like, spit marks or from, like, the food. It'll melt. It just gets, carpet just gets disgusting. I'm actually just ordered a bunch of stuff to clean the carpet. Once it gets warm, I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to power wash it because I pay a lot for that carpet. I think I played close. No, I think I, I definitely did pay over $250 for this carpet. It's a full um rug. It's a full area rug. I love it. It's white and gray. I have bought it from, I think, Overstock. I bought it online for sure, but it wasn't Wayfair. Amazing. I love it. I wouldn't trade it. It just needs to be cleaned. But I think besides that, the only other differences in my bedroom, I can say, is we have, I had previously rearranged my perfumes and stuff, but I'm going to kind of stop talking. I'm going to kind of show you guys a little bit more in depth of the room right now. This is the cube storage. Um, With this is pros and cons. As you, This is like my blanket bin here. The only issue with these, the well, only thing I have with this cube is I actually bought these bins. So one, two, and three from Target. And I don't think they're the sturdiest opposed to I bought these from Amazon. And you can see like I have mass amounts of like tech stuff and it's not bending. And that's heavy stuff because like mixers and stuff. So I would recommend if you do go with these cubes, which is very sturdy, like this is, it's shaking, but it's not really going anywhere. I would recommend going to Amazon and purchasing these bins over the the Target brand, which are a little bit more flimsy. Um, my bed area, which this is actually upside down because I have polka dots on, like my under sheet of the the comfort itself has like these polka dots on it, which I put the cover on wrong, so you can see it. That I have to turn it around. The other thing that's on my wall, I wanted to keep my wall simplistic but not empty. So I have these mason jar lights on my wall right now that are hammered. They're actually anchored onto a wall with just um picture hooks, I believe they're called. I ordered them on Amazon for them and they just click on the wall. As well as my Chanel perfume poster, which I love a lot. My grandma had gifted this to me and it's just a reminder when you go into the world to be nice to people. And I think it's it kind of fits the room though because it's like a bronzy gold color and that wall was just empty. The second thing I have is the dream until your dreams come true and these bulb lights. As you guys can see in the previous clips, I had like Christmas tree lights that was just like strung in the line like this and it just, it was hideous, but I wanted lights behind my bed. So I kind of upgraded and just got these big bulb lights, which it still lights up the room pretty much a lot. So I usually unscrew a couple and I'm going to sleep. Um, the second thing I was talking, the next thing we talked about is the dresser. And as you guys can see, this was like a cherry wood color and now it's just white. On top, I think it's like this dress white grayish color. I actually like it a lot more than the marble. Moving on behind my door. Yes, my sister's pictures. I kind of ignore it now. She posts them around the house just to get her right laugh. I have my three main things, over, which is my rest of the wear or use my towel and my robe my jean jacket and my car my pink cardigan which i wear all the time just like in the house if i don't want to wear a robe i want to be comfy that's one of the things i wear the next thing i have here is my hamper and this is actually going to be moved to this spot which i'm going to talk about over there in a second on top is my dog's towel because she does go in the backyard so usually before she comes in the room i wipe her paws in there before she gets in the bed and stuff just so i don't get grass stains on my sheets and stuff but my odd, this is gonna be removed here. I'm gonna have my uh, my ottoman's gonna be going there, as well as this chair is gonna go. Which this is actually just a, at the moment just the IKEA chair. It's just like a sheep. I think it's just like a faux sheep fur, like rug or it's not a rug. It's actually a chair throw, which is for my ottoman when it comes. But just to keep out the way, I kind of threw it over the chair. It's kind of cute for now. Just until my actual chair comes. 
The next thing is my desk area, which as you guys can see, I have an awkward gap between my dresser and my desk. And here I just keep spare canvas boards. Like this one was done, so I put it up, but I keep either if I have artwork that's done, that I'm gonna switch out later or just a spare board that slides in there along with my calendar which is behind my mirror now, but I'll find a place to put that. And then this is my keyboard for if I'm doing something for work and I type fast, sometimes the Apple keyboard is not reliable. It's not reliable. It's not that it's not reliable. It's a little bit hard to type faster on it. Here is just my desk area, which I was going for Art Deco. Actually, my plant that you guys see over there actually sits in this corner. It just needs some sunlight, but this is a cup I made, but I just put a print out in it. It was actually my Wonder Woman cup. I just don't kind of feel the superhero vibe over here anymore. So I think that's it. And I actually put my cup in that home because I have a tendency to knock it over when having other stuff around there. So it's stationary, it's stuck, and it's not going anywhere. This is a TY baby, but it's actually like a phone holder. It says it somewhere, I don't remember. But this thing is to put your phone in, which comes in handy. So now I'm doing work, I need my phone to be sit on some sat on something. I can't find my tripod. Um, these collages I actually made myself. Um, there's a couple of this is actually my favorite. I love retro themes. Then this one was just like pieces of pieces of my life, kind of like I love to go to the beaches and travel. I love like anything that's like kind of retroy, but like green. I love a lot of greenery. I'm from New York City, so all that stuff's here. The art newspaper table, this is just contact paper. Um, it actually only took one roll, which I over anticipated and bought two rolls. I think it was like fifty some dollars for two rolls. So I was a little bit upset that I still even have more left over. But what I did to kind of bring the idea that my desk is the underside of my dress, I actually wrapped the piece here which kind of connects because this was like a weird, it didn't kind of take the white properly for some reason. So it was like a weird grayish murky color. And I have a feeling a lot of this stripped over. So I just cover it with the contact and it gives the illusion that my desk is stretched over here. Um, a full body. Oh, I have shoes under my bed right now. And I also have a food toncher, which is that gray thing, which kind of doesn't fit, but when you wanna watch TV, it's good to have. These are gonna go into my closet and shoe rack. The next thing I have right now would be my full body mirror. Oop, I'm not even in the mirror frame, but as you see, it's a full body. I actually like it a lot. It takes cute pictures. That rug looks really cute on the floor here. We, well, not, it's not a rug. I keep calling it a throw, but to take pictures looks cute. You can actually see under my bed through the full body. It's um just shoes and stuff. Actually, under the bed, I have like Christmas tree lights, I guess you call them, that light up underneath the bed. Now for this area here, it's an odd area because when the rug is all the way under the heater, it's weird. So I kind of pull it out a little bit. But due to the fact that I only have three sockets, I only have three sockets on this behind my bed. And I have about 12 things that need to be plugged in. I went to Home Depot and I bought this adapter piece here. And you can actually put in three different things, three different plugs that are three prong. So it's really good to have when plugging your laptop and stuff. The other thing, I, my camera had died. My phone had died on me. I didn't even realize. But the last thing I was saying is for this dresser here, you see, I have I switched and put glass marbles on it. I just like kind of kicked off my slide. I have put glass marbles to kind of match the aesthetic of my mirror and my closet, which I bought both these pieces from. I bought this from Amazon. I originally bought knobs from Amazon that I had to kind of switch because they did not fit what I wanted. So I ended up buying knobs from Home Depot, which I liked a lot more. That went a lot, they went a lot better with like these rhinestone kind of glitz things on the mirror. And I think the 12 is like 180 and these were like $12 a piece when I bought them. Same thing with the glass shelf up there, that was like I remember, I've just seen in the store, so I could quote the price, but it's $60 for that shelf and that, the brackets. We switched out these brackets and those were $40 a piece. So it wasn't that bad. It wasn't reasonable, but it wasn't horrible. So I think I've kind of covered everything for the room so far. The only thing that's missing right now would be my new chair, which I ordered from Wayfair. 
it's a upholstered gray like vanity um, desk chair and then my ottoman which is gonna go here and that's gonna store all of my hoodies and jeans like heavy stuff that's hard to put in drawers and the only other thing i would say too is under bed i'm gonna get under bed storage like the really flat bins and i'm putting a closet system in which ooh, closet systems right there about six hundred dollars a piece so i kind of have to decide which one i want so that's not finalized which one one's going in for sure but i'm not finalizing which one i'm going to order yet but besides that here's like a full view of the room so i guess i do keep a broom i have a dog that sheds so this is like the full of the room and I have great sunlight here, actually. I really do enjoy that. See the cube, the full cube storage. So, full back again, and this is the full room. I showed you guys a full span of the whole room and what was in the room, what was, in what was like my storage looking like. Um, it's a big upgrade from my last room, as you guys can see in the previous picture, because of the fact that, for one, I had no storage. My furniture kind of didn't match. Like, I had, like, that ugly bed frame that I didn't like too much anymore with a footboard. That was one of the biggest things that had to go. So my new bed, which I really love, it's, um, actually, I think the color was warm gray, if I'm not mistaken. It's, like, a warm gray. It's a higher bed than I had as well before, which also helps make the room look bigger because it's a little bit more narrow. Just because it doesn't have that big clunky wood on the side and it can go flush against the wall. Um, my decorations on the wall, I think decorations, well, I had a lot of this stuff already. It just didn't fit the room, per se. Like, it didn't have a proper place. The bins are a big help because, if you've seen the last video too, under the shoe rack I had, I had, like, little, like, old cookie tins, I think they were. I don't actually remember that. I think they were, like, old cookie tins that from when we got Christmas cookies. And I just, like, cleaned it out. And I had put, like, my combs and stuff in it. It was all, like, silver. But everything else in the room was, like, brown. It was just a mess in here. Um, my futon chair is gone. Yeah, it's not garbage. It's just under my bed. I just, like, stick it under my bed because it doesn't... It's a little awkward to fit in the room. But when I want to watch TV or cut up in a blanket where I'm sitting right now to film... I will put it and I can sit on my phone and watch a movie on my laptop or watch my TV or play games, whatever. It's also nice to have seating in case you have friends over and you don't want to sit on the bed, but you want to sit on the futon chair. It just works. Um, another big thing I'm really happy with, I think, is my dresser because I also got, I had that ugly blue paint on it that was like matchy matchy to the walls. Oh God. Excuse me. That didn't really fit my room. My desk wasn't the cutest thing, and I may insert if I can find a clip on my phone. I'll insert what it looked like, but it was like all torn up and painted and like scratched. It just didn't have the look I wanted, as well as my desk was being used for multiple purposes because it wasn't the shoe rack that I had built up to make a, a quote unquote vanity wasn't high enough or comfortable enough for me to sit on and like. I would literally have to kind of do this, like, in a chair, like, kind of keep dropping myself down and, like, turning to see into the mirror and still have room. Opposed to the target cube now, where I'm sitting, I can, like, stray out and the cube is, like, equal me sitting down. So, standing up, it's a great, it's a great height. It can also be turned upwards to make it, like, straight, stacked, but I prefer it more elongated than that. I prefer the width more than the going up, the height, sorry, the width over the height. Because with the height, it kind of blocks my windows and I don't get as much sunlight in my room. So I prefer it this way. Like I said in the other video, I would recommend if you do go with this cube, don't go with the Target cubes. They're um nice. They're more flimsy. They don't really hold too well. They're shaped. Opposed to this, the ones I bought from Amazon are much sturdier. And I love the rope. The rope that's on, it's much easier. I feel like I don't have to, like, stick my hand and, like, try to stick it through the cube to pull them out or bend it out. Mainly you're bending these because you're sticking your hand and pulling it out and pushing it back. Opposed to the rope, it's, like, already, like, ringlet holes that you're just, like, pulling out. So it's a little more stable. Um, I think the only thing I would change in my room is I probably would have got a bed sheet 
that came with matching pillowcases because as you guys can see, I have those fur pillows. I have those fur pillows in my bed forever. And now they're kind of getting like dingy and I may just order a new set or I may just order regular pillows. I think regular pillows fit my bed a little bit more right now. Um, but besides that, I think that's it. The one good thing I will also say about that bed, it goes flush against the wall, but it still has storage. It also has a zipper in the headboard that it's kind of, like if you have to store something, like if you have big amounts of money in the house or something and you have contractors coming in, you can zip stuff in there and people won't know unless you tell them. So I guess it's like having a quote unquote safe in the room. Um, I think that's now I think that's it with the bed. You guys seen all my clips before. Um, just a quick list off. The bulb lights came off from Amazon. Those came two screens in for twelve ninety nine. I think like twelve. I got free shipping on them. The two mason jars came in one set. One it comes in one box, so you don't have to buy them separate. And that was twenty six dollars with tax and everything. Came twenty six free shipping. The Chanel poster was forty two dollars. My plant here. I'm just gonna kind of bring it. It's so pretty, right? I bought this plant from Home Depot, and it was actually the price is still on it. If I can turn it around, this was fourteen ninety eight, so probably like sixteen dollars with tax and everything at the counter. Um, another thing that I have for the room that I really love is my white barn lavender candle. If I can, this is lavender vanilla. It smells amazing. I actually bought this in Atlanta a while ago. Just never opened it. Scrapbooks I had for years was a gift. The twigs I got from Ross, like I said, the I'm studying. The light fixture I have in my room I got from Marshalls. I think everything else I already had and I couldn't list off. But predominantly that's it, and I'm very happy with my room. Besides the two, I think when the next two things come, it's gonna really tie everything together. But I think that's it. So. Thank you for watching and listening to me explain my room transformation for you guys.